Hi student, in this video I want to show you how we can just uh, use the simulation about the Coulomb's law. That is a simulation corresponding to the lab of the first week of physics, to general physics too. So basically when you uh, open the simulation, you also make a click here on this uh, link that says simulation lab 1 Coulomb's law and you just open the simulation then you have these uh, two options we're going to be working in the uh, macro scale so we're gonna just click on these here and then uh, basically what we are doing with this uh, simulation is uh, learning about the law of Coulomb. so remember that the Coulomb's law is a is a uh, law of the physics you know uh, where uh, we find or we have the expression to calculate the force between two particles with some charge right uh, either both with the same charge both positive both negative or with different charge right one positive one negative and how then the forces can be forces of uh, attraction or how then uh, when you have the same signs right charge with the same sign uh, you will find how the uh, particles are going to be repelled so in the Coulomb's law uh, the force depends on uh, the magnitude of the charge and is uh, directly proportional to the magnitude of the charge so an, an increment an increase in charge in the magnitude of the charge one that means in q1 or an increase in q2 is going to increase necessarily you know the magnitude of the force uh, of cola or electrostatic force uh, in the other uh, hand uh, we have uh, that the uh, force of colon is uh, inversely proportional with the square of the distance between the particles so uh, if uh, the distance between the particles increase as more far as one particle from the other then the magnitude of the Coulomb force will be lower uh, uh also in the expression of the uh force electrostatic force or so column so we have uh, a constant um, that is the column constant k uh um, that is equal to if i remember correct 9 times 10 to 9 newtons meter square per column square um, that is also you know part of these um, part of, of of this formula in the simulation basically what you can do is to increase or decrease uh, the magnitude of each charge you know so when i click on this uh, arrow here i would be making the charge one or changing the value of the charge one so here charge of zero micro coulomb so this is a sphere that is neutral so have no charge at all if i keep clicking here then i'm going to have uh positive charge right of so five micro coulomb for example and then i can see here you know these arrows that are representing the direction of the force so uh, as, as i just convert the charge one into a positive charge uh, as charge two is also positive you know then there is a force of repulsion between the two uh, particles uh, if i click in this other side to the left then uh, the charge of the uh, particle one turns negative we have minus six micro coulombs here and then we see now how the direction of the forces have changed and the forces are forces of attraction you can also represent the forces in scientific notation that means here i have the forces but on the magnitude if i click in force values then i have the values i can have those values in scientific notation or i can have these values in decimal notation uh, also, you want to increase uh, the distance between the charges. What you have to do is to move, uh, you know, one charge or the other to the left or to the right. You know, so you just stand or just click on the charge or in the guy that is like a pulling a strain. <laughs> so uh, you can move, you know, one guy toward the other one. Uh, so you're just moving one charge to toward the other one or just moving one charge away you know so uh this is basically what the simulation is about uh, 
in the in the lab basically what you have to do is just to find the magnitude of the forces for different distances you know you have to uh, analyze the direction of the forces you have to see what happens you know when we increase the magnitude of the charge what happens when we increase or decrease the distance between the particles you know so uh, this is what are we doing in these uh, in these labs so it's a very easy simulation it's also a very interesting simulation I will be also sharing, you know, uh, one video that I recorded uh, was a kind of promotional video uh, that I recorded in the physics lab uh, to uh, explain uh, very, very quick in a very simple way uh, the effect of the electrostatic force using the Coulomb balance. Uh, so I'm going to share that video so you know. Um, uh, I will also share one video explaining a little bit about how to uh, make a graph in uh, Microsoft Excel and how we can just get the uh, equation of the graph, you know, in Microsoft, in Microsoft Excel, right? So we want. Uh, just one more thing, uh, the prefix micro, that is this uh, little mu that we have in front of the C, the C here in the charge is because the unit of charge is Coulomb, right? Coulomb is the unit of charge. The mu, the little mu, that is this letter, this good letter here in front of the C means that it is a uh, micro Coulomb. So this mu is the prefix uh, uh, micro that is the 10 to the negative 6, right? So when I say 6 micro coulombs, I'm talking about 6 times 10 to the negative 6 uh, coulombs. Milli means 10, 10 to the negative 3, nano means 10 to the negative 9, right? And micro in this case, it means, you know, 10 to the negative 6. So uh, that is also important, you know, because uh, if you have to do calculations uh, of the Coulomb force, you don't work uh, with the micro or with the milli or with the nano columns. You convert, you know, uh, the milli, the micro, the nano columns into columns. You know, multiplying by the corresponding power of ten. You know, there in this case, when it's micro, when it's mu, the letter in front. You know. Uh, what we are doing is uh, multiplying by 10 to a negative 6. Uh, when it's mainly, we multiply by 10 to a negative 3. When it's nano, we multiply by 10 to a negative 9. When it's, uh, I don't know, uh, the, you know the prefixes of the International Systems of Unix. So depending on the, of, on the letter that is in front of the unit, you know, we multiply by a different power of 10. So, well, I hope this video will be useful for you. And, that you enjoy this uh, lab number one.